morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And today I'd like to show you how we can decoupage these clay pots and waterproof them. And I'll show you how we can use napkins like I did on this first larger one. And how to use wrapping paper, which I used on the smaller one. And here's how we'll start this. You'll want to paint your clay pot using this Martha Stewart multi-surface paint. And you want to find a color that matches the background of your napkin. Please ignore the high gloss on this clay pot. I accidentally put decoupage glue down. Here I'm just showing you that the background color matches the paint. But you want to put this on the raw clay pot and cover the whole surface. You can do the inside and the outside. For the purpose of this video, I just painted the whole outside. Now these are the instructions according to the Plaid website who makes the Martha Stewart paints. So you do want to let this air dry for one hour. Now after this is dried, after you've air dried it for one hour, you want to place it in a cold oven. You want to make sure it's cold. And in order for this to work, it does have to go in the oven. So you set the oven to, the instructions say 350. I found that that was a little too hot, so I put it in at 300 degrees. You then want to set your timer to 30 minutes and keep your project in there. You turn your oven off after 30 minutes, but you leave the project in there to cool down along with your oven. Now, if you'd like to use napkins, what I did while all of that was baking and cooking, or curing actually, was I took a thin artist's paintbrush and I took sections of the napkin out that I wanted to use to decoupage the clay pot. And you don't separate the napkins yet. It makes it a lot easier to tear them this way. And just tear about as many pieces or images as you think you'll need. Or if you'd like to use pretty wrapping paper, cut out a larger section first of the wrapping paper. And this is just a little tip I learned during the holidays. You can take either a toilet paper roll or this was a paper towel roll. Just cut it up the center and you can wrap it around that wrapping paper roll and keep it intact. And when I'm cutting flowers out on wrapping paper or any images, these smaller decoupage scissors come in very handy. And you wanna cut out as many images as you need for your clay pot. I'm working on a smaller clay pot with these images, so I won't be cutting out as many flowers. These scissors are available on my website and the link is below. And using those same Martha paints, I painted the clay pot the same color as the background of this wrapping paper because then you know it will match. Now I had a few pieces of saran wrap already torn and put aside and I applied my decoupage glue, added my napkin and this has been separated so it's just a top fly. Now you just want to pat that down gently and take your saran wrap and pull it tightly over the piece. I'm adding books here to the side because the, the uh, clay pot was rolling around too much. <laughs> and to get these ends down and make sure they're nice and secure, I added a little bit of decoupage glue just around these ends. And I continue to go around this pot and you can use the saran wrap to press this down, but you'll want to make sure you throw it away after each use. Only use it one time. And I continued to go around the pot and add my images overlapping the prior pieces. Be careful with those ends because you want to make sure you don't tear them. 
Now you may want to go around your pot and make sure that there aren't any empty spaces. That happens. And just do a little patchwork like here and here. And after you've covered the whole pot on the outside, you want to put it aside to dry for about a half an hour. Then you'll want to paint the whole inside of it with decoupage glue. When I say paint, I just mean do a coat of the decoupage glue all around the inside. And all of these same instructions apply when you're using the wrapping paper where you would paint the clay pot with the Martha paint and put it in the oven. However, with the wrapping paper, you're going to want to submerge the wrapping paper in a little bit of water. Place your decoupage glue down. That's a little too much decoupage glue, as usual. Me and my heavy hand. <laughs> Place your image down, and you do not need wrapping, uh, you don't need saran wrap here. You just want to press the images down. And I'm just going to go around the whole pot and add the rest of my images. Now, if you've got any edges left over around the top, you can just file them away here with the nail file. And once this first layer of decoupage glue has dried underneath, you want to coat the whole outside of the pot with one more layer of decoupage glue. That could be Mod Podge. And I'm going to do the same thing for both clay pots. I'm going to put them in a cold oven, set it to 170 degrees. When the oven reaches 170, I am going to leave both pots in there. I'm going to turn the oven off and leave both pots in there for about 20 minutes to a half an hour. Now once everything has cooled off, it's out of the oven, everything's dry, we're going to take a sponge brush and we're going to use something called spar varnish. Different companies make spar varnish and it's made specifically for boats. I believe spar is a part on a boat. But as you can see on the side here, it says UV salt and mildew resistant coating. It expands and contracts with changing weather conditions, which is what we want. If we want to put these clay pots outside, this is what we need to use to cover the whole surface. And you want to do this on the inside and the outside. This is a lot of work, these processes where they go in and out and in and out of the oven. I personally do not do this that often. This video was a request, but I wanted you to see how much work goes into making these pots weatherproof. And once you've got everything coated in the spar varnish, you need to put it aside to dry. I put each one in its own box and close the box for about 10 hours to let these air dry. That's how long it takes the spar varnish to cure. And since it's summertime, it may take even longer than that to completely dry. You wanna make sure it is not tacky to the touch. And once it's dry, you've got to do that same thing to the bottom of the pots to make sure that those also cure. You can see how the paint separated there. That's because the oven was at 350 when I did the original painting and that was too high. So I went down to 300. So here are our completed projects for today. And I just wanted to add a few things. The reason that we needed to put this in the oven with the decoupage glue was because baking the Mod Podge onto the pot helps the decoupage glue harden and it allows you to put the spar varnish over it. There's currently a product out on the market. It's a two-part spray that is supposed to waterproof items. I believe it's by Rust-Oleum also. The only problem with that is they tell you not to use it on surfaces where you don't want it to dull. So you don't want to go through all of this work and then use a two-part spray only to find that it ruins your work. This, however, maintains 
everything, the integrity of your work, it, it still looks pretty and vibrant and colorful and it will last outside. It is a lot of work. I personally make clay pots, but I keep them in the house. <laughs> but this will work outside for you. And thank you so much for subscribing, you guys. I love hearing from you. Any comments or questions that you have, feel free to post them. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And there are links below this video to my website if you'd like to purchase some products. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.